Okay, risk aversion and expected utility. Now, supposedly, if I have uh, two prices here, if I have two prices here, my prices are uh, X and Y, right? So, and the probability that I can get the price X is, let us say, P and the probability that I'll get the price Y is 1 minus P, right? And the utility which I derive from consuming X is UX and the utility which I derive and I will have Y is UY, right? So I don't know per se that whether the event, uh, I mean, for example, these prices will be coming in two states, right? These prices will be coming in two states, S1 and S2, right? S1 and S2, well, I don't know whether state 1 will occur or state 2 will occur. I don't know that. So state 1 can occur with probability P, state 2 can occur with probability 1 minus P. And the utility which I derive from consuming X is UX, the utility which I derive from consuming Y is UY. So those states have world key, state one and state two. Up states ko aise man sakte ho ki accident or no accident, right? Is tarah ki states hai. So a winning state hai, a losing state hai. State. Mujhe nahi pata pehle se ki kaun si state aane wali hai. Kya accident hoga ya accident nahi hoga. Fir agar state one hai, to mujhe x ka price mil raha hai. State two hai, to mujhe y ka price mil raha hai. स्टेट 1 होने की प्रोबेबिलिटी p है और स्टेट 2 होने की प्रोबेबिलिटी 1 minus p है यूटिलिटी आने वाला जो x और y से है वो ux और uy है सो द एक्सपेक्टेड यूटिलिटी वुड बी pux प्लस 1 minus p uy this is what my expected utility is because mujhe nahi pata ke exactly whether x will come or y will come so this is basically your expected utility theorem and uh, it comes through many axioms on the lottery space i'm not getting into that so what we are doing right now is just assuming that this is what the idea is that if you play this gamble because if you're talking about these prizes it means that you're playing the gamble गैम्बल है ना तुम्हें नहीं पता पहले से कि x मिलेगा या y मिलेगा राइट सो द एक्सपेक्टेड यूटिलिटी इफ यू प्ले दिस गैम्बल इज दिस एंड द एक्सपेक्टेड वेल्थ और एक्सपेक्टेड वैल्यू ऑफ दिस गैम्बल और एक्सपेक्टेड वेल्थ फ्रॉम दिस गैम्बल वुड बी जस्ट p इंटू एक्स प्लस 1 minus p into y, 1 minus p into y. This is going to be the expected value. Now the point is that if you sort of uh, just uh, put it this way here, mm -hmm. and uh, you write uh, the utility here, and you write the prices here, right? or so these are the prices here what prices or the value of the prices here and this is the utility over the wealth okay i should rather write wealth here instead of writing prices that's rather better so i can just write this as wealth so let us say my utility function is u w out here right let us say my utility function is u w out here and uh, and uh, This is my wealth which I have. This is my wealth which I have. And uh, let us say, for example, um, I'll, I'll make this question or simpler. That is my current wealth. Is let's say $10, right? And uh, in case if I win, I will get $5. So in that case, my wealth will become $15.
and if I lose I lose five dollars and in that case my wealth would become five dollars in that case right so this is going to be ten dollars this is going to be five dollars this is going to be fifteen dollars so and uh, so if you have 10 out here and uh, say for example you are not playing the gamble so the utility which you are going to derive from this gamble is just this right sorry not from not playing the gamble the utility is this from playing the gamble the utility is this are you with me so when you are not playing anything you're not playing the gamble when you are not playing the gamble when you are not playing the gamble you are on the normal utility curve while if you are playing the gamble playing the gamble you're sort of on the expected utility locus right so if you're on the expected utility locus out here now if you just think about it if I'm not playing the gamble and I'm getting ten dollars my utility is this thing well if I'm playing the gamble then my utility is just this so by playing the gamble my utility is lower so what kind of person I would be if I have this kind of utility function I will be risk averse. What kind of person I would be when I'll have this kind of the utility function risk averse why because when I am not playing the gamble I have a higher utility as compared to the case when I am playing the gamble that's one thing. Then this is and how, how far these prices are spread around the mean that is what the risk is or these deviation is right or you can say variance or standard deviation whatever you want to say how far they are spread around this now supposedly if I make this like this so if you lose you lose 2.5 I, I change the gamble a little bit and if you win again you win or I'll rather make it more simple I can say if you lose let's say you lose two dollars and if you win you win two dollars so if you do that in that case what will happen the spread around the mean is lesser and uh, what is the expected value of the gamble that is let us say the probabilities of happening this is equal to half both the both the states that is equal to half so it is one by two into eight plus 1 by 2 into 12 so it is what 4 plus 6 equals to 10 so this is the expected value of the gamble that is 10 so even when even when you had the risky gamble okay how do I know it is a risky gamble because the spread around the mean is huge here the spread is lesser when spread is lesser that means it is less risky while this mean which is telling you this expected profit is same in both the cases right whether you have the risky or the non-risky gamble so here the utility which you will have here the utility which you will have will be like this right so this is the utility by playing a less risky gamble this is the utility by playing a risky gamble so this person achieves higher utility when he plays a less risky gamble as compared to the case when he achieves the more risky when as compared to the case when he plays a more risky gamble so what happens in this case he will prefer what kind of gamble 
he will be preferring a less risky gamble what is a less risky gamble so less risky gamble is the one which has a lesser variance around the mean right fair enough let us look at this question this thing came in uh, i think uh, i think in june 2019 paper of ugc net economics right so which of the following methods of selecting the strategies is consistent with the risk averting behavior if the two strategies have the same expected profit select the one with the smallest standard deviation baat khatam you know the answer here also we have seen this how do i know this i have talked about the risk avert risk ever uh, risk averse individual right we have talked about that and for him only we have said that he is facing two gambles with the same expected profit so he is going to prefer the one which is which is going to have a lesser risk involved so because that lesser risk strategy is giving him the higher utility right so i think the answer is a 